Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are going over some of the best PKM apps right now, personal knowledge management apps right now, and we are covering quite a few, so there should be one for every single one of you out there. I haven't covered all of the apps that exists because then uh, this video would probably be around three to four hours long and none of us have the patient for uh, patience for that. Let's start off with the one most people are familiar with. This is called Evernote and Evernote got acquired by Bending Spoons, a software company. I think it's a little over a year ago now. It is probably no November 2022 is probably when they got acquired if I remember correctly anyways they have done a huge upgrade on the app and the overall feel of Evernote the pricing has increased but on the other hand the app looks a lot better we now have support for Outlook calendar as well we have a uh, we still have the notebook structure right here, which most of you are familiar with. Calendar, uh, again, this is available only on the pro plan. You can customize your widgets over here. You have to do's, you have pen notes, you have a scratch pad to quick capture notes. And Evernote has a lot of the things you would love in a personal knowledge management app. And it is a lot easier to learn than many of the other apps on the market and the apps I am going to show you. So uh, if you're just looking for a place to gather notes, to capture a lot of notes and be able to easily find them later with the new AI search Evernote offers as well, it is probably the one of, if not the best option for you. Then we have an app that is mainly for the Mac. It is called Note Plan 3, but the reason why I included it is because they are building a web version of this. So this is quite good for those of you who want to have notes and tasks and calendar blocking together. If you want to do all of these things inside of one single app, uh, Note Plan is one of the apps that offer that you have things like backlinking you could create a whole settled custom system inside of this which i have seen a lot of people do it works with markdown it isn't actually the hardest app to learn it has a folder structure for uh, organizing all of your notes and is it has tags and backlinks as well so you could link all of your notes together inside of here and you can create yourself a knowledge base but you can also add tasks and drag tasks directly into your calendar to calendar block all of your tasks so note plan is a great option they still uh, haven't fully released the web version uh, i have a mac and i have an iphone uh, but i also do have a work computer and the computer i'm recording on right now both of them are windows devices so i can't use this as an all-in-one or actually use it at all because it won't be available at work and it won't be available on my computer as well but they are building a web version so as soon as that uh, is fully out i will probably be a lot more excited about this app because it is a beautifully designed application then we have another one that is quite similar this is called uh, ample note and ample note is really similar it has a graph view here as well which is available on the pro plan but it is similar to uh, Note Plan uh, in a way because it allows you to have your tasks and your calendar together with your notes. So you can drag things from um, your to do's into a calendar and you can separate work and personal calendar and they have calendar integrations as well. Uh, so you could have all of your tasks right here and uh, you can drag those tasks into your uh, into your calendar quite easily and it is just a simple way to do uh, both calendar blocking to-do list and you can also 
actually uh, write or create yourself a knowledge graph like this with the backlinking abilities. This works well with Markdown. Again, a Markdown is a thing that probably most note-taking apps actually support, at least at this point. Most of the more popular ones do support Markdown. Uh, and Ample Note does as well. So this is probably best uh, if you're just like Note Plan, looking for a way to have all of your tasks and calendar together with your notes on one place and to be able to calendar block. But this has a web version, so it is available uh, on every platform and they do have a mobile app as well. Then we have Workflowy, which is one of the apps I actually haven't played too much around with, but it is an outliner. So you have nested bullet points and bullet points inside of different bullet points, which is a really cool way of organizing things. You can also mirror these uh, bullet points right here so you don't duplicate things. They actually do a great job at Kanban view and task management as well. Uh, but it is probably best for those of you who like to take uh, bullet point notes uh, and not longer notes. This again is an outliner and I have one more outliner on the list. Uh, but if you're just looking for something simple and you like to take really short bullet point notes and you just want a simple way to organize them together with your tasks, especially if you want your tasks in a Kanban view, then Workflowy is probably the app for you. The next one I have on the list is a newer one and this is called Capacities. Uh, Capacities is an amazing application, a bit harder to learn than many of the other applications I have shown you, but there are a lot of great videos on YouTube that you can learn from. Capac Capacities is based around object-based note-taking, so everything inside of Capacities is an object and you have to have different objects inside of here. So for example, social media ideas or daily notes app, organizations, people, tags, and so on. This takes a little while to get used to, but once you are uh, used to the idea of object-based note-taking, Capacities is an amazing app. It has backlinking, it has a graph, and it also supports databases, just like in Notion. So you can have databases with different properties if you like to view things in a database. Uh, and database is quite similar to another app I've talked a lot about, which is called AnyType, uh, is evolved around the different objects. So you can also filter these, sort these lists, and you can see them as a wall or, or a gallery as well. So you have list, wall, gallery, and table view. I like to use the table view whenever I'm using a database, but it is good to know that you have um, other options here as well. Uh, they have a dark and light mode and uh, they also do have uh, daily notes, which is a place you can take uh, notes and just quick capture them and move them or make them into something else later. And I think that having a inbox is really good in a note-taking app. It makes it a lot easier to actually capture your notes. The next app we have is called LogSec, and this is also an outliner similar to Workflowy, but this does things a little bit differently because here you have all of the files stored locally as markdown files on your computer uh, and uh, syncing to uh, syncing different devices together can take a little bit of time. You uh, can sync them through iCloud, which I am doing, or even Dropbox, which I know a lot of people are doing, and they have their own uh, sync solution as well, but that 
at least the last time I checked, uh, I think it was four or five months ago, it wasn't fully ready. So you would have you would had to make a donate donation. Um, I think it was around five, at least five dollars each month to be able to get the syncing but syncing via iCloud works quite well I did that with both LogSec and Obsidian for a while and it worked it had some small bugs uh, some small problems but overall it worked quite well and there are a lot of great videos on how you can get LogSec to sync it is free to use and they have task management pdf annotations flashcards and even whiteboards so this is more of an all-in-one solution around us uh, around bullet points and taking short notes you can also indent your bullet points and they have backlinking as well so if you wanted to build a knowledge graph and be able to see your whole entire knowledge graph uh, this is a great app and if you're concerned about privacy logsec is probably one of the best options out there but again uh, you will have to spend a little bit of time learning the app it works quite similar to obsidian if you're familiar with obsidian which we will get back to later in the video but it is quite uh, similar to something like obsidian except that it is uh, it evolves around bullet points the next app we have is called Reflect Notes. Again, one of the newer ones. I think this came out back in 2022, and that was when I first tried it out. This is uh, really similar to something like Obsidian, but it aims to be a lot easier to use. So you can take longer notes inside of here. You have your daily notes and it also has great AI integrations with an AI chat. So you can actually talk to your notes uh, and also custom uh, custom prompts for using GPT-4 right inside of the app. It has backlinking, it has tasks, and it also has the map as well. It is quite fast, both on mobile and on a uh, computer or a Mac uh, on the web version. Uh, so it is one of the faster apps I've seen, especially on mobile, and they are always working to be um, even better and even faster and the team is doing an amazing job at developing this app so this is probably one of my favorites uh, and mostly because it is the simplest app i've seen uh, with these kinds of capabilities with backlinkings and building your knowledge graph and still being able to be that simple to use and learn is really really amazing and they also have a great integration with uh, GPT-4 which allows you to actually transcribe all of your notes so you could record your uh, audio memos and it will it would write them down right here which is a lot faster than actually having to type out everything so if you would like to speak your notes this is probably the best app out there but it offers so much more than that and uh, it is a bit pricey because they do not offer a monthly plan they only have the yearly plan which is i think it's around 100 usd each year and they give you a 14 day free trial then you will have to pay for the whole year next up is an app that most of you know it is called uh it is called notion and notion has been working really hard on upgrading the app the last year it has become a lot faster it is still not to the point of where i feel like i can use this app every day and i also do have a slow internet connection which makes this impossible to use at home but they have 
develop the app to make it a bit faster. They have now an inbox feature with, uh, with recent updates and notifications, as well as the calendar app, which integrates with your different databases. So if you would uh, like to use the databases for task management, you can also do cal calendar blocking with Notion Calendar, which is, uh, like most of you know, the former Chrome calendar. So this is an application that evolves around, uh, around databases and having different views of different databases. It takes a while to learn the app. There are some great things, uh, some great uh, templates out as well as YouTube videos, but Overall, the app is really hard to learn and to use properly. It takes a lot of time. And in my case, I tend to spend more time organizing the app than actually doing the work, which is something I know a lot of people do struggle with. But overall, it is a beautiful looking application. It is basically a no code tool that allows you to build exactly what you want out of this. So. If you would like to build your own specific workflows and you wanted to build uh, your whole entire workspace and you wanted to have everything in one place, then Notion is probably the best app out there for you. And uh, it is, uh, it has a, a paid plan or multiple uh, tiers to that paid plan, but you can get away with the free plan as well. And they have, uh, a paid AI add-on which gives you access to Q&A uh, that allows you to talk to your notes uh, and they are rolling this out quite quickly so more and more people are getting access to the Q&A so you could talk to your notes just like inside of just like inside of uh, reflect so the notion offers this as well another app we have on the list is actually super notes which is an app i recently did a video on super notes also do have the graph view if i can find it here it is it has a graph view a really beautiful graph view and uh, this app evolves around note cards, so smaller note cards that uh, you can write your thoughts and ideas on. I just did uh, watched a video on Andrew Huberman's morning routine, and I thought that would be great to have for this video. So thoughts right here is actually an inbox uh, feature. And you can then give your cards a parent, which is basically a folder. So in my case, this, this would be resources. Uh, and it is removed from right there. Uh, and they have uh, days as well. So you can see what notes you took on what days, as well as this graph view right here, which you can also see in 3D and see that things are moving, which is a fun feature. I haven't actually used it for anything, but it looks really cool. So note cards sh for shorter notes, they do have a soft character limit, but you can write uh, as long as you want. You just get a notification uh, on the bottom of the note card that says that this is so many characters over the limit uh, i can show you in one of my notes right here so let's actually do this podcast right here i think this should be over as you can see 1133 characters over the limit and 356 words so uh they have a soft limit but that isn't a problem if you want to take longer notes inside of this. Uh, so uh, this is an amazing application, quite easy to learn. It uses Markdown 
simple and just a great way of taking notes on a note card and sharing them. Sharing inside of this app is also quite easy and it is amazing for students. Another app I wanted to include is actually called uh, Obsidian and I touched on Obsidian earlier in this video but probably one of if not the best note taking app out there. It is uh, Markdown based as well. So uh, this stores all of your files locally as Markdown files. So it is easy to find uh, another or uh, move them to another note taking app. It has uh, daily notes, it has a graph view and it also has canvas which is basically uh, which is uh, basically whiteboards inside of here. So you have this beautiful graph view. It evolves around a plugin ecosystem that allows you to create different plugins. So, uh, or allows you to customize the app exactly the way you want. They have a plugin system that allows you to customize the app exactly the way you want it to be. As you can see here, it has databases with the data view, with the data view plugin. And there are so many plugins inside of this app. It is just so many plugins. They have, uh, it is free to use, but they have a syncing option. Again, just like Logsec, syncing can become a problem here. I tried with I iCloud and it worked okay, I would say. Uh, but they have a syncing solution to this. Uh, it costs around $10 each month. Uh, and overall, Obsidian is probably one of the best apps out there, but it takes a while to learn it and to find the right plugins. And you can fall into the trap of spending too much time customizing the app, but it is so easy and so fun to write notes inside of this and you just want to take more and more and more notes so it is an amazing application but i wouldn't recommend it to everyone because it is complex it takes a while to learn and um, because a lot of us do not have the discipline to actually not spend time organizing our notes every single day that's why I wouldn't recommend it to everyone. But if you want to learn it, you are dedicated and you have the discipline to spend more time working than organizing. Obsidian is probably one of the best apps out there. It is amazing for researching with the backlinks and now with the canvas and whiteboarding features as well. It is, it is just amazing. Another one I have is actually called Tana and Tana is also one of the newer ones. Uh, this is probably the best app for quick capturing but similarly to something like uh, Logsec or Workflowy this is an outliner and you can have different uh, bullet points nested under other bullet points. Um, it is still really early days they have a mobile app but it is only a capture app. However, this app does an amazing job at capturing notes and they have a readwise integration as well. And uh, it is actually quite simple to learn. It took me a while to understand it, um, maybe because my brain didn't work. But the way this app works is that you organize using tags which they call super tags and it is these super tags that create the databases and through live searches and queries you can always find the things you are looking for as long as you have tagged them. You also do have backlinking inside of here so you can link different things together. No graph view at least not yet but as I said it is really early days here you can see a list of the notes tagged readwise so this is how i found everything inside of my readwise i did a live query on readwise the readwise tag and everything popped up so an easy to learn or not necessarily easy to learn but easy to use easy to capture things application 
uh, probably the best one if you want to quick capture things if you like to take short concise bullet point notes and you capture a lot during the day this is an amazing app because you can capture everything inside of today and you can easily move them to somewhere else the last app i'm going to show you today it is updating right now but this is called any type and any type is just like capacities an object based note taking tool it has the graph view with backlinkings right here as you can see i have a lot of stuff inside of here uh, the way this graph works is that it shows how things are linked together so if i hover over it shows that shows how things are linked so this says related area it is uh, and this says stars and this says uh, links from this object it isn't supposed to say that but i will fix that later uh, this is a newer application. Uh, it is still in beta, so there is still development that needs to be done on this application, but it is probably the best blend between Obsidian and Notion you will find with the different databases, but it stores all of your files locally as markdown files. Uh, and it has these databases as well so the features look quite similar to something like notion but it is uh, object based and it uh, stores all of your files on your device this is a newer app so there will be some bugs and some updates you will need to do to your system when they update the app which they are actually quite good at doing this is also a really hard application to learn it took me a long time to understand how this works so just to give you an example databases inside of uh, inside of any type are two things they are collection and sets and set is basically a search query for an object just like i did a search inside of tana where i uh, showed all of the things that was tagged readwise you can do a search for an object inside of uh, inside of uh, any type and get it as a set and that is basically a database uh, and you also have collections which is databases more similar to the notion databases we are used to but a lot of people are loving this app and i completely understand why because it is really amazing and if you want the feature set of notion but you want total control of your own data this is the best app for you so now we have covered a lot of different note-taking apps my personal pkm favorites if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and uh, i couldn't go too deep into the different apps because this video is already too long but thank you so so much for watching today's video and i hope to see you again quite soon